Hey guys, let's make this shoe lap today. So the materials you need are a piece of wood, band by 9 cm, a ruler, a compass, a pencil and a flat brush and a round brush. Fevicryl acrylic red color, Fevicryl acrylic white color, body talc, a cup of water, Fevi gum, mold it or any clay, some decorative stones and liquid embroidery golden color. So first take the piece of wood which is 9 by 9 cm and mark it from top and bottom 1.5 cm. Draw a line. So we have 6 cm left now. But before that, let's work in the 1.5 cm space. So I'm making squares of 1.5 by 1.5. So we already have a 1.5 line. So now I'm going to mark 1.5 at equal intervals and draw squares. Now I've drawn the squares. Now in the remaining 6 cm part, mark a 3 cm that is the center. Take a compass, draw a big circle and a small one. So our measurement work is done and we have our base ready. Now let's start with the clay or molded work. So I'm using fabric molded as it gives a very good finishing. Inside the molded pack, you have a hardener and a resin. If you mix them both equally and proportionately, then you get a very nice soft clay. So I'm mixing it equally. I never use the whole pack as it dries in 30 minutes and then we are not able to work with it. So I'm only mixing one fourth of it. And I mixed it about for two minutes. And now I'm taking a part of it. I'm putting body talc at the base so that the molded doesn't stick on it. If it's sticking at your hand, then uh, put body talc on your hand too. So I'm making a roll out of it. And I'm using Febigim over here and sticking the roll on the two lines. And on the two semicircles. I prefer to use Febigim in this video because as we are working with molded and we don't want too much of white lines to be seen so I'm using Fevicum as it is transparent you can use any sharp objects to cut the molded and you can use your fingers or a pencil to shape the molded Now I'm taking the leftover molded and making small balls out of it. These balls will be used to put it in the center of each square. Using Fevicum, put it in the center of each square. And make the roll into a wave-like structure so that it gives a design. Do the same thing for the next side too. So I've done the same thing for the next side. Now using pencils, make holes into it at equal intervals so that it gives a nice looking texture. Now take white acrylic paint and paint the whole thing. I have given two coats of it then itself I felt satisfied of the color. 
Now if your holes are covered then you can make it again. The dots. Now I'm using white and red to make pink and I'm applying it at the center as well as the first roll. Now use red to make these lines and on the wave like structure at one end I'm putting sleeping lines and at the other end I'm putting standing lines. Now we are done with the paint work too and let's start with the stone work. At the middle of the semicircle, I'm putting a large big stone and I'm putting smaller stones between the two rolls. It gives a shining effect and also looks good on your walls, doors, etc. wherever you want to place the shoe mark. I'm also adding stones on the small balls which I had placed in between the waves. I'm doing this both sides. And now we are done with the stone work too. Now all we need is liquid embroidery and light down shop and lamp. Same way I have also prepared the shop with the same measurement and the same colors. So our shop and lap is ready. It is ready for you to put it on your doors, walls etc. And isn't it looking very beautiful? Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel. And don't forget to see on my other videos. Bye bye for now.